When Teddy left, Miss Thompson got down on her knees and asked God to forgive her. The next day, when the children came to school, they were welcomed by a new teacher. Miss Thompson had become a different person. No longer was she just a teacher. She was a, an agent of God. She had been surprised by grace and was thankful for it. She was now a person committed to loving her children and helping them, especially the slow ones, especially the Teddy Stollards. By the end of that school year, Teddy showed dramatic improvement. And with Miss Thompson's help, he had caught up with most of the students and was even ahead of some. And Teddy was moved on to the next grade. Miss Thompson didn't hear from Teddy for a long time. Then one day, she received a note that read, Dear Miss Thompson, I wanted you to be the first to know. I will be graduating high school next week, second in my class. Love, Teddy Stollard. Four years later, another note came. Dear Miss Thompson, they just told me I will be graduating first in my class. I wanted you to be the first to know. University has not been easy, but I like it. Love, Teddy Stoller. And four years after that, dear Miss Thompson, as of today, I am Dr. Theodore Stollard, MD. How about that? I wanted you to be the first one to know. I'm getting married next month, the 27th to be exact. I would like you to come and sit where my mother would have sat if she were still alive. You're the only family I have now. Dad died last year. Love, Teddy Stoller. Well, Miss Thompson went to the wedding and sat where Teddy's mother would have sat. She felt good sitting there. She had done something for Teddy that he would never forget. And he had done something for her that she would always remember. Grace had touched them both, and they were both thankful for it. Today on this Thanksgiving Sunday, we gather to remember all that God has given to us, blessing upon blessing. But more important, we gather to remember Jesus Christ, our brother and our friend, and to remember who we are and whose we are because of him. And what exactly are we remembering? It's something wonderful. It's a wonderful gift. Not a little boy's gifts of rhinestone bracelets with half the stones missing and a bottle of cheap perfume. No, not, not those gifts. But just as these gifts transformed the life of one teacher and renewed the hope of one little boy, the giver and the gift remembered today can transform and make us new as well. Jesus said, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's exactly what Jesus did for us. No greater love has ever been shown. It doesn't matter whether we're a Miss Thompson, reluctant to love, or a Teddy Stollard, longing for love. 
doesn't matter who we are. Jesus loves us, and by the power of that love, he can make the wrong in our lives right and the good in our lives better. Because he emptied himself, we can be filled up. Because of his brokenness, we are made whole. And in laying down his life, we've been given so much. More than we could possibly imagine or dream. More than we could possibly hoped for. And attached to this gift is a note. It doesn't say for Miss Thompson from Teddy. Instead, it reads for Jim, for Jane, for Joe, for Walter, for Rob, for Barb, for Anne, for us, for all of us, for every one of us, from Jesus. And every day, not just this Thanksgiving Sunday, we must remember this grace. Maybe even be surprised by this grace. And in turn, thank him for it. As in our gospel reading earlier, let us be the ones who stop and give God the thanks. Like the Samaritan leper, let us be the ones who stop. Let the others run ahead. Let us not only be surprised by grace, but thank-filled for it. Let us stand thank-filled before God, who is good, whose love is eternal, and whose faithfulness lasts forever. Forever. Amen.